So that same mode, let's take a look again, chest pain. I love chest pain. I see a lot of chest pain. Healthy 40-year-old woman complains of left side chest pain for the past eight weeks, and it bothers her about twice daily. Chest pain is a common uh, complaint in family medicine. And uh, this is a younger woman, 40 years old. She's had it for about eight weeks, and it's very frequent, twice daily. So let's get some more history um, and think about, uh, think about this as we go through. The pain is sharp. It lasts seconds. It's unrelated to exercise, but began after doing some new moves in her yoga class. Uh, she feels a little tired, but otherwise her review of systems is negative. Think about what you would include in that review of systems. And her exam is normal. She has a little tenderness palpation over her left lateral chest. And an electrocardiogram was done and shows normal sinus rhythm, no ST changes or T wave inversion. So let's, before we get to the answer, let's break down her history again for a second. Left side chest pain, it, you know, for eight weeks, it comes and goes. Of course, you have to think about cardiovascular causes, you have to think about pulmonary causes, you have to think about musculoskeletal causes. The first thing is I know is she's healthy and she's 40, so therefore her risk index should be fairly low. I don't have a smoking history in here, I don't have a family history. Those can be added in terms of her cardiovascular risk assessment. It bothers her about twice daily, that doesn't tell me much, but it is sharp and at last seconds tells me volumes. Uh, angina, generally a dull ache, not sharp. It lasts a few minutes, it doesn't last seconds and fleeting and goes away. Also, the pain is unrelated to exercise. Again, angina often related to physical activity. Um, and it started after doing some new moves in her yoga class. What kind of moves? Because this is starting to sound very musculoskeletal to me. Um, she feels a little tired, a concern. You know, you could think about some of the atypical diagnoses such as uh, such pulmonary embolism, for example. But, you know, a review of systems is negative. Uh, you know, could this be, could she have shortness of breath, uh, numbness and tingling, nausea or vomiting? Um, those things I'm sure are assessed. Um, and her exam is normal. The fact that she has some tenderness, especially if it's in the same area of pain, uh, we can't reproduce the pain uh, on palpation that's present in diagnoses such as angina or pulmonary embolism. But that said, most patients who have chest pain deserve an electrocardiogram because she can, even with no risk factors, uh, still have uh, some type of atypical presentation uh, for angina. And therefore, it's worth uh, doing an EKG, which is a simple test uh, with a low rate of false positives and adverse events. So the next, so the question becomes, what do we do with this patient next? Do we refer her for a treadmill stress test? Well, that's not really that accurate among women, correct? So therefore, maybe you want to go to the next step. She's, she would have any typical presentation, do better with stress imaging, either with an echocardiogram or with nuclear imaging. Or do you want to think about doing a left breast ultrasound? I didn't mention breast pathology could be a factor here too, but on the lateral side in particular, yeah, it could be a cyst or uh, some other type of mass, even an abscess. Um, cancer, very unlikely to be painful. Or should it be reassurance and simple analgesics? And I would, I would go in this case for reassurance and simple analgesics. And of course, you can have your own opinions and you know this is just a limited case presentation, but based on everything here, it sounds like musculoskeletal is gonna be at the top of my list. And I'd like to see how she does um, over time that this resolves. Certainly a lot of warnings about if the pain is changing, if it's growing more severe, if the analgesics aren't working, if she develops new symptoms. She's just gonna be coming back to see you or calling, or if they're severe, going to the emergency department. The chances of any of those happening are very, very low. And this brings us to a nice clinical pearl. Um, the more, majority of chest pain cases in the ambulatory setting, and even in the emergency department, are not related to your, uh, acute cardiac ischemia. Uh, in fact, in primary care, it's less than 5% of cases of chest pain are related to acute cardiac ischemia. So it is rare to see somebody in active ischemia um, in your clinic. And so certainly it's on, you know, it's near, it has to be in your differential. You're gonna assess those patients uh, appropriately and even transfer the ones with, with high risk conditions. Uh, but it starts with assessing the patient's history. And for this patient, the key was really, it got worse after a move in her yoga class. So there's a mechanism for, uh, for example, a pectoral strain which could produce her symptoms. Mm -hmm.